Hi there, it's Oleg here with my vlog and today I'm gonna talk about bizarre Russian foods. Uh, my friends from other countries come to Russia and ask me questions about these foods because they not used to have them in, in their local stores abroad in UK, in the America, in France and uh, so let's uh, see some kind of crazy bizarre weird products that we Russians consume on everyday basis but they seem quite strange for foreigners let's go we start with the interesting one the most popular dish in Russia pelmeni pelmeni are dumplings made from dove usually filled with meat it is a, a Siberian dish. Uh, there is this theory that stuffed boiled dumplings possibly simplified adaptation of the Chinese wonton. Uh, usually they are packed frozen, as you see. Uh, and uh, this pelmeni, these dumplings, can be found in Russian food stores. And it's kind of a convenience food. Pelmeni is a great choice when you are hungry, too tired to cook anything difficult, so you just need to boil them. As you can see, I put them in casserole and in a few minutes they are ready to eat. Okay, here they are, in 5 or 3 minutes they are ready, very tasty and very convenient. Yeah, that's how they look uh, when ready. Okay, we we'll move on to next. Actually, it's pancakes. In Russia, uh, pancakes are called blini. Usually, when you live in the West, pancakes served with something sweet like jam or jelly or honey in Russia blini pancakes served usually with meat uh, with caviar with something not sweet well we have sweet uh, we have blini with sweets but in, in the shops you can find a lot of blinis pancakes with meat and that's a big difference between our cultures so here I use uh, fabric blinis, not homemade, I just need to warm them up in the oven and they are ready to go. Okay, uh, here we are to Dr. Scabalonia. Uh, it's a sausage. I think uh, this kind of sausages appeared in, in Russia, in Soviet Union, actually, after the Second World War, when there was no, no not much food and uh, uh, the country was in ruins. So the government or Ministry of Food, as you wish to call them, decided to bring a lot of products uh, which are made from. Uh, very strange components because every time I look at this sausage uh, it doesn't look like real meat it's, it's like fat mixed with something and uh, here one of the most favorite uh, dishes in Russia is buckwheat in Russia we call it kasha is grechki buckwheat porridge uh, buckwheat grouts are commonly used in Western Asia, China, Japan, India and uh, Eastern Europe, Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, Poland. Um, actually buckwheat, very rich in protein, uh, fiber, uh, B vitamins, iron, zinc, selenium, all kind of uh, things you can imagine. And no gluten. 
but strangely it's only popular here and in Eastern Europe and in Russia. A Tula gingerbread is a famous type of imprinted Russian gingerbread. Its typical Tula gingerbread looks like a rectangle tally as you can see. And modern Tula gingerbread typically contain jam or condensed milk and traditionally they were made with honey. Actually this stamped uh, gingerbread is an art form. Uh, here we have sushki and it doesn't have anything in common with sushi. Sushki is traditional Russian snack. A sushki is the smallest and the driest version of bublik, traditional Russian bread roll, a kind of a hard cracker uh, great snack. I already tried to record this video because uh, I think it's the longest video I, I ever made on this channel and it's about food it's very strange because my channel called DJ and philosopher and uh, I I should talk about music so this is Pollock liver cod liver uh, we used to eat make salads and uh, make sandwiches with uh, fish liver cod or pollock and uh, this fish liver and its oil is consumed in Russia as a sandwich spread I think it's also came from uh, the end of the Second World War but when there was not many foods around and government decided to bring some new foods to the public and since then it's quite popular here we have squash spread again kind of strange product but you can find hundreds of varieties in supermarkets of this uh, squash uh, spread I think in some cultures maybe Jewish cultures or Arabian cultures they have some squash spread uh, I think it's called baba ganoush or something it's quite uh, salty sour uh, vegetable a taste oh this is a big one uh, actually every child uh, knows what it is it's uh, milk but it's not uh, uh, usual milk as you can see it's, it's uh, like a spread it's um, processed milk and it's processed with sugar and sometimes you cook it and it became brown and even more tasty and everybody loves to eat this with uh, pancakes uh, with some sweets real classic you can also put it in the coffee or tea it's very popular quite popular Oh, here our traditional uh, national drink class it's uh, non-alcoholic well uh, you can measure there is some very small percentage of alcohol in it uh, but uh, okay it's a traditional fermented beverage made from black or regular rye bread and the taste depends on the proportion of ingredients it's usually sweet and slightly sour it's a non-alcoholic drink by Russian standards as the alcohol content from fermentation is typically low. Uh, kvass has been common drink in Eastern Europe since at least Middle Ages. Yeah, and it looks like beer. Uh, the technology is like beer, but it's not beer. It's kvass. It's non-alcoholic. Uh, here come Chebureki. Uh, Chebureki, it is a deep-fried turnover with a filling of ground or minced, minced meat 
and onions. Uh, actually, it is a Tatar traditional dish, but it's very, very popular in Russia. So when you're in Russia, try Chiboreki. Or oh, here I cook them in a pan. If you go to restaurant, they will bring you uh, the real one. Uh, the one I cook, it's fac factory made. It's a uh, kind of fast food. But if you go to re restaurant or tea house in Moscow, you will taste the real one. At the end of uh, this episode, here we have uh, blinis, pancakes with meat. Uh, here we have chibureki with meat. Here we have dumplings with meat, <laughs> everything with meat. Uh, kasha on the right side, uh, porridge from buckwheat and kwas, Russian traditional drink. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope you like it. Please subscribe. Love you all. Goodbye.